Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Cedric Thrash. I'm coming to you this week uh, with a follow-up from last week. Uh, many of you know uh, I started this uh, uh, thing where I sent out uh, maybe two, three minutes, sometimes maybe a little longer, depends on what the issues and concerns and questions are. But I want to thank everyone for taking time out of your busy schedule to give me feedback and, and telling me what to do, what not to do, and all that good stuff. Uh, one of the things that we talked about last week was book bag ministry leaders. That's right, book bag ministry leaders, people that would take their journal, take uh, their information from a meeting, from uh, pastors, uh, tasks, or anything like that, put it in their book bag, just like people do when they're in school, only to get on the bus, go home, and not even complete it because they get distracted or whatever the case may be. Those are what we call book bag ministry leaders. They, they have the image, they have the look uh, that they're going to do their work and they're going to fin complete it, but in actuality, they have not received and mature enough to be disciplined uh, to get home, set up an atmosphere. That's the key, you gotta set up an atmosphere at your home, whether it's a cup of coffee or tea or whatever, and exclude all other distractions. Tell your family, I have ministry work, I have things I gotta do. You know, I remember uh, uh, in high school, uh, I was walking past uh, one of the walls and they had this thing where uh, it was like framed with all the uh, honor roll people. Uh, they had their pictures up there. And I remember walking past that wall and I looked and I didn't see my picture up there. And I got a little off balance because I'm like, Lord, I wish I was up there with everybody else on the honor roll. And what it was is I had the image of a nerd. I had the image that looked like I was supposed to be on the honor roll but I didn't have the substance. And I remember my uh, pastor told me years ago, he stopped me when I began to work in ministry. He said something so powerful that resonates even to this day. He said, Cedric, don't have the image of success, but you don't have the substance of success. Many, many of us, and many of us uh, still challenge in that area, where we have the image of success, but we don't, we don't have the substance. He said, don't have the image that you're a great preacher, but in reality, you're not a great preacher. Uh, you don't have the substance of a great preacher. That's something that we have to avoid. Let's not have the image that we work hard. We got book bags. We got briefcases. Uh, I, back then, I had, I had the look. I had a suit and tie. I had gaiters. I had a little briefcase. And I had the image of a great preacher. I had the image like I was on my way uh, to the convention to preach to thousands, but I didn't have the substance. I was still a book bag ministry uh, image leader. That's something that we as leaders must avoid. Some of you say, well, how can I get out of book bag ministry leader? Very quickly. One, you got to understand the responsibility. If you take on a task, if you have a position, whether it's in the church or whether it's in corporate America, you're responsible for making sure you complete all the tasks, all the things that are necessary to make sure that you are successful at that. The second thing is you must understand the results. The results are not going home and doing your homework. You get an F. When you, when you don't do your ministry work, don't do your corporate work, you get a felling or a, you get an F on that task. So you gotta understand that you're responsible. Then you gotta understand the results. And unless you, you gotta understand the rewards, the rewards that come with doing your work, doing what you got to do. Many times in this generation, we focus on the image. There are a lot of people that uh, they want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger did years ago. They want to look like they work out a lot, but most of us don't want to work hard. We want the rewards of somebody else's hard work. We can't afford to do that. Let's not have the image. Let's have the substance. Let's not carry a book bag or a briefcase, but not have the ethics. Don't look like you supposed to be on Wall Street, but you got Am Street ethics. You don't want to look like you belong in the stock market or you're a successful millionaire and you have the ethics, but you don't have the work ethics to do what God has called you to do. I want to extend myself to each and every one of you. If you want to email me, you've got courses. I want to avail myself to anyone that want to come and say, talk with me or call me or email me to get training development. I'm learning just like you learning. My pastor teaches me every week, trains me. There's other people that train me. I want to take what he has taught me and experiences I've been uh, 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 able to see and share those with so many others so that we all can make and be successful leaders. I look forward to seeing you. My email is cthrash at visitmrc.org.
or hit me up on Facebook. Thank you.